This is a story about a famous Jewish rabbi. He spoke Hebrew, lived in Israel, studied the Torah, followed the Jewish law, and taught in the city of Jerusalem. He wasn't European or Roman. He wasn't Catholic or Baptist, but he was Jewish, as Jewish as it gets. And his students were Jewish. He wrote a book that became a bestseller. It's the most published book in world history, far outselling every other book every year. It's been studied in every place of the world and translated into every language and every dialect. In some languages, it's the only book written. In fact, the average American home has about five of this rabbi's book. It talks about the history of Israel and no other book has even come close. This single Jewish rabbi currently has 2.5 billion students, a third of all people. That's more than all Islam and Buddhism combined. His students are on every continent, in every nation, from every people group, and speak every language. This rabbi has an amazing teaching. It seems to wake people up and change their entire life. It turns wicked people into good people. Those who love evil into those who love good. Those who follow darkness into those who follow the light. His teaching turns those who hate into those who love, those who trust in idols, into those who trust in the God of Israel, the God of Moses, those who hate Israel and despise Jewish people, into those who love the Jewish nation. And for all of that, this rabbi only taught for three years. His teaching has an amazing effect. If you pretend to be godly, but secretly do evil, it exposes you. If you pretend to speak for God, but aren't sent by God, then you will hate this rabbi. This famous Jewish rabbi has a symbol known worldwide. It's a most misunderstood symbol. Both good and evil have been done by those using his symbol. Some people hate it and others love it. It represents the greatest victory that the world has ever seen and the greatest trophy that has ever been won. It represents the defeat of all of God's enemies. But who could win such a victory and earn such a trophy? There was only one who was good enough. The King of Israel, the Son of David, the promised Jewish Messiah. This rabbi has an amazing name. It seems to have power to do miracles, healings, signs, and wonders. There are more songs dedicated to his name than any other name in history. There are more movies, plays, and books written about him than any other person in history. 
In fact, there are more organizations, charities, schools, groups, hospitals, etc., that are called by his name than any other name in history. He's the only one to have books written about him before he was even born. You know these books as the Hebrew Scriptures, Israel's prophetic books, the Tanakh and the Torah. His Hebrew name is Yeshua HaMashiach Ben David. Now you're Jewish, as he was. You must know that if you're ever brave enough to study this rabbi's teaching, something strange will happen to you. As his teaching starts to open your eyes, out of nowhere, persecution will rise against you. For no reason, some of your own friends will turn against you. As you start to understand his teaching, the world will seem to oppose you. Why? Because you dare to challenge the big lie. What is the big lie? The big lie is you can't be Jewish and study this rabbi's teaching. The big lie is, you have to abandon everything you know is right and true to follow this rabbi's message. The big lie is, you have to abandon your very Jewish culture to believe this rabbi's words. But the truth is, you need this rabbi's teaching to understand the Word of God, to follow the will of God, and to be fully Jewish. Your mission, if you're brave enough to take it, is to get a copy of this rabbi's teaching and find out what makes his teaching so different than all the others. Why is he the most loved and the most hated person in history? And why is one-third of the world following this Jewish teacher? You'll find out when you read his book, The Bible. Many people died to get you that book. Some were burnt at the stake, hung, tortured, imprisoned, whipped, beaten and killed to get you that book. So don't take it lightly. You may need to read it in secret. You may need to hide what you're doing, but you must do it. Don't just trust what other people say about this Jewish rabbi. You must find out for yourself.